Hi cello players! In this video we're going to be going over elevator up. And in this exercise we are in the key of D major. So the fingers we're going to be using are 1st, 3rd, and 4th. 1st, 3rd, and 4th. So no second finger in this one. So as the name suggests, we start on our lowest note, open A, and end on our highest note, D. So each line we get a little higher and higher in pitch. So let's start from the beginning. We can go very slow. Let's use the tempo 60. That's a very good middle of the road tempo. So I'll play this through once for you with my metronome on at 60 beats per minute. Ready? One, two, three, four. As you can see, there are no bow lifts or any weird changes in this piece. Every single note we play, we're going to keep alternating the bow. Go ahead and grab your cello. We're just going to be doing the bow this time. One, two, three, and four. Metronome set to 50 beats per minute. Ready? One more time, just the bow. One, two, three, and four, and. you to rewind the video. Do that with me as many times as you need to get your bow in control. And then next, of course, we get to add our left hand. So in the first measure, we have open A, first finger B, and then open A again. Then the next measure, it's all B, so all first fingers. So you're going to leave that first finger down. Then look to the third measure. We have our third and fourth fingers now. Three, four, three, three, and then in the last measure, it's all D, D, D. So we're going to leave our fourth finger down for that. Let's go through this together slowly. Um, I'll bring down the tempo a little bit, maybe to 45 beats per minute. So let's get ready to play this together. So what I want you to do is get your hand in the right position. All right, it's in the right position, so everything's in tune. And now, since we start on the open A, barely lift your hand up above the string. Okay, so now you're all ready to go. Ready? One, two, and three, and four. Rest. Up bow. Rest. Down bow. sure that we count that rest at the very end. Even though we're done playing, that last rest is still part of the music. So like I did, the very last note I kind of waited a little bit to let that rest go by and then I let go. Let's do that one more time, a little bit faster now. So again, let's set our hand in the right position. Set our bow by the frog. One, two, and three, and four, and. Rest. 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 And that's where we end. So I'm going to do this one more time, but at 60 beats per minute. So we're really ramping up the tempo here. Don't feel pressured to get to this stage yet. I'm just going to include it in the video when you're ready. So here we are, 60 beats per minute. So again, we're going to set our bow by the frog, right in between the fingerboard and bridge, that sweet spot. 
We're gonna find our nice left hand position and get ready to put our first finger down and do. Ready? One, one, two, three, and four, and. D I played and ring out a little bit. That's what you're looking for. So that was great. And if you noticed, I used a lot, well not a lot, but I used less bow than before because when we're playing at a faster tempo, it's much harder to use all this bow in a short amount of time. So it's okay if you use a little less bow the faster you go. Just make sure you're pulling the sound out as much as you can. One last tip, during these rests, you want to set your finger down so you're ready for the next measure. For example, we have our first measure. Rest. The next note I have to play is a B, so I don't want to just be hanging out with my hand in the air during that rest. I want to set it back down to get ready for the next measure. So here it is in slow motion. next finger and then the rest of the song plays out so use these rests wisely you want to prepare your hand as much as possible so you're set up for greatness so great job watching all the way through this video and have fun with this start at a low tempo work your way up see you in the next video